is the structure of the circulatory system? How is it organized? And what's its function? Well, when you think of the circulatory system, think of the word circulate. The circulatory system transports valuable oxygen and nutrients around the body for use by all cells. It's sort of like a river transport system with a very strong pump in the center. What else is the circulatory system important for? Circulatory system also, um, in addition to delivering oxygen and nutrients, it transports disease-fighting um, <coughs> materials produced by the immune system. So it has an immune system function. It also delivers platelets for blood clotting, which is important. When you get a cut, or inside when um, there's an injury on the internal organs, sometimes your blood is clotting without you knowing it. And finally, the circulatory system helps to control body temperature. This happens with the help of the endo endocrine system. So now that we've outlined some of the functions of the circulatory system, let's go through a few of the major parts very briefly. One, there's the heart two blood vessels, which we will both talk about in other videos, three, the blood, which we'll go into detail about red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma in another video, and four, the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system we will cover when we get to the immune system. So check out our other videos on the anatomy physio physi physiology of the heart, blood vessels, blood, and lymphatic system to discover more about this valuable circulatory system.